All right, let's take that same song, Amazing Grace, and let's think about if I were going to play it by myself. And usually if you play the organ just as a practical application, you want to think about uh, the sections you're going to play, and you want to set up your draw bars for those particular sections. So in my mind, I've already decided that I'm going to play the solo part up here. So for the first part that is not that intense, we'll set up our pure tones and we'll add a little bit of our fifth. Let's see what that sounds like. Oh, I could use a little more of that. Um, I'll add a third. Okay, and for my more intense section, I'll do the same thing, but I'll add my overtones and my high tone, and I'll add my percussion. And I'm just kind of thinking ahead. And they sound kind of similar. And what this, is, this will allow me to do, this will allow me to switch my sounds without taking my hands off of the organ and without worrying about drawbar settings. All right, so I have my solo settings set. Um, bass setting is pretty easy. That's basically what I'm gonna use. So we'll set up this B flat key for our first section. And it sounds like this. All right, and then I'll play a full organ and octave up without these first two keys as my second uh, accompaniment. Um, and I think that's about it. So, I'll play the whole song, but I'll tell you what the thought process will be. Here are my two uh, first settings. All right, and when, and when we get to the next part, I'll start switching my sound. Okay, when I switch my sounds, I'll turn my tremolo on and I'll bring my volume up to help make it more intense. All right, so let's slowly talk it through. All right. So we'll do the first part, Amazing Grace. Sorry, had the tremolo on. So now it's going to start getting more intense, all right? And I want my intensity to seem seamless. So what I'll do is I'll pull out just a few of these so that the sound can gradually grow to this sound. All right, so let's watch how that's done. Now here's a trick. As my hand is here, I'm pulling out the draw bars. And while I'm soloing, I'm switching sounds. And while I'm playing with this hand, I'm switching sounds here. And then I'll just stop and go right back. Alright, so let's go over that again. While both sounds are low, while I'm playing this note, I'm sneaking my fingers over here and intensifying the sound of my support chords. So that when I switch it, it doesn't sound like a great big switch. All right. And then while I'm playing down here, I switch my sound here. And then I just go back. to my original sound.
Okay, now let's try that in real time. See what happens. Okay, here we go. Let's try it. And that, my friends, is a practical organ solo application.